Tonight. Kirk Narotsky joins us live tonight from Auburn University with more. Kirk? Thank you very much, Glenn. You know, the weather might be a little cool right now here in Auburn, but come Saturday, things will really be heating up for the Iron Bowl when Alabama rolls into town. And after a 10-1 start to the season for the Auburn Tigers, they are looking to close things out in style against Bama. For the first time in history, the Tigers play host to both Georgia and Alabama in Auburn. With one of those wins out of the way, focus is solely on the Iron Bowl. We feel like we earned everything we have now, so... You know, we're just ready, you know, to step on the stage like this and execute what we have to do. With A.J. McCarron under center for the Crimson Tide, Auburn wants to rattle the senior quarterback, Heisman aspirations or not. You know, we want to stop him, but, you know, I'm not thinking about him not winning the Heisman, but he's not going to come in here and just have his way. Talk leading into Saturday centers around Auburn's offense versus Alabama's defense. Some wonder if the Tigers can keep up the attack on the ground while implementing a passing game. But if you ask Auburn, they're going to take things one play at a time. With season goals within an arm's length, confidence is not lacking. We're going to run the ball as we've been running the ball, or we're going to try to, and we're going to have to throw the ball too. So, I mean, we're just going to do what we do, and that's, you know, move the ball down the field. No matter how we have to do it, it's going to be all right. Obviously, it's a huge game for us. Um, the Iron Bowl, a winner goes to the SEC championship game, which is, you know, everyone's goal. We talked about uh, our team's goal this year is to, to get better each game. I feel like we have at this point. And for us to have a chance to win, we're going to have to play our best, uh, best game and our most complete game up to this point. Jordan-Hare Stadium will be packed and loud on Saturday. And actually in games when both of these two teams have met each other while ranked, Auburn has actually won nine out of the last ten. And, Glenn, that's a pretty incredible stat when you think about it. Yes, uh, Kirk, uh, all kinds of stats have been thrown around this week about both teams. Thank you very much for your report.